Curb Reward 2023 in downtown LA. Curb Reward put the gig economy tech on display. I was invited out to come out to sunny LA and be a part of this amazing event. Let's talk about it. Mr. Bet on you back with the ride share guy. Now, what was Curb Reward like? A lot of people have been asking me, what is Curb Reward? What does it mean? What was it like? How was your experience, Pedro? What did you see? What did you learn? Who did you meet? We're going to talk about that in today's video. But first thing, as we know, the gig economy is ever adapting, ever changing. It's ever flowing, right? A lot of companies autonomously are looking at how to shape and shift and to make the gig economy better, faster, stronger, how to get people things quicker in a more, you know, in a cheaper way as well, right? So we ran into a lot of fantastic companies trying to do things, whether it's with navigation, autonomous vehicles, shout out to Stellar Pizza, robots making pizzas. I mean, it was an amazing event. Met a lot of great fellow LA drivers, shout out to all of you guys. It was really, really, really cool. Did an interview with the local LA uh, news channel talking about the gig economy, the future, things like that. But the, the biggest thing that I took away from it was Curb Award was for me about networking, meet, meeting people, meeting drivers, shaking hands, putting a face to a name. A lot, you know, met a lot of awesome content creators, Sergio from the Rideshare Guy, you know, the contributor there. Met Torsten, the Rideshare Professor, Luis Berto from Delivery TV, just and many, many, many others, right? So connecting with a lot of other drivers, content creators, like-minded individuals that want to know what the future could look like and hear it firsthand from these business owners, CEOs, movers and shakers in the gig economy was amazing. And, and looking back at this event, I was always somebody that thought, hey, robots aren't coming. They're not coming for our jobs. And I, I still believe that for the most part, as far as the, in the near future. But what I take from, from this as well is things are happening and we have to be willing to adapt and see what's, you know, what is the future gonna look like so that we can position ourselves as gig drivers, right? whatever platform you work, position ourselves in a way to not be left out and be at the forefront and work with these companies versus against them. So that's one thing that I kind of took from this, this event as well. You know, I saw many robots, ones that I've seen on commercials or maybe college campuses, you see them, but I saw them in person. You know, they don't look like they can deliver a lot of stuff, but pretty cool nonetheless. You know, I saw a little robot, maybe that big, that would maybe have, a, it has like a little box on it. You could, and it could climb steps and deliver like maybe some of their prescriptions or a really small type of order. And it had like a lock box. A lot of autonomous vehicles, motorcycle, mopeds. I mean, just awesome kind of stuff that's currently being used by people. But you know, five, 10, 15 years down the line, these things are gonna be very, very normal in major cities, right? Cities like a downtown LA where it's very hard to navigate. I was in downtown LA. The parking's crazy. I mean, you, you don't have, it, it's very different than my market, right? So I could see having some kind of smaller mobility vehicle, autonomous or not, being able to navigate a big city like downtown LA, a really busy city like downtown LA. There is a need for that. So coming to this event and kind of seeing that firsthand and seeing it play out in a city like downtown LA where it's very different than St. Louis and many other most you know rural markets right was really neat and, and it, it really got me thinking about what will it look like five ten years down the line and with technology becoming better faster smarter stronger more people are using it more people want convenience the food delivery delivering people ride share whatever it is groceries isn't going anywhere. But seeing these companies put tens of million, hundreds of million, in some cases, billions of dollars into the autonomous robotics and all that kind of stuff shows me that that stuff's it's coming. It is coming and we have to be willing to kind of accept it as gig drivers and see where our role fits in in the future. So all in all, super grateful to come to this event. Really look forward to going next year. I, I would really love to do that. I think this thing will just get bigger and bigger as time goes along. This was the second in-person one. The third one, first one was virtual. This was the second in-person. Seems like it's very, it's growing. I'm gonna show you guys a few behind the scenes clips I took and I shot while I was there right now. And then I got one more thing for you guys at the end.
Thank you very much. Say what's up, Hannibal. Say what's up. What's going on there? life coach and Kabir Jane, chief growth officer at uh, Erewhon. So, really excited. Thank you so, much. so Thank you. if you guys want to see me Thank deliver you. in this little bad boy, check it out. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Look at this. Project Hot Box. I'm excited for our next panel. Put the pizzas and stuff in the bag. The and you just deliver they own it. Right? They own the curb. <laughs> Look at who we got here. Hey, the ride share professor. Look, look who I found in sunny <laughs> California. Man, how you doing, man? I'm doing great. It was raining and storming all week, so he came at the perfect time. He's running around in shorts. Beautiful weather. And he's yeah. just sucking in, you know, the <laughs> vitamin D3. He's loving it. <laughs> so listen, check out the ride share professor, a true G in this space, looking out for drivers. You got anything you want to say to the audience, man? Yeah, I do. And if, if anyone on my channel is watching, hey, shoot over to him. Yeah. You know, Pedro, San Diego, you can't, yeah. the, the, the food delivery expert, right? So it, it's awesome that you get a chance to uh, unite and actually meet the people in person, right? Because they're all all over the country. Yep. But you know, today I uh, we met up, Harry is here, yep. Sergio's Sergio. here, and a couple of other YouTubers. Hannibal's so, hungry, like Hannibal's a lot of here. great drivers were meeting Shout out up, to so. all of those, so subscribe to all of them, and um, hey, keep up the good work, buddy. Thank Seriously, I appreciate, appreciate you. you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Hey. Say hi, you guys wanna say hi? Of course, of course. Shout out to Stubo guys. Stubo, Stubo. A delivery app that allows access to drivers. If you don't have an apartment code and you have this app, they will open the door for you. More to come on that later. <laughs> Check out this vehicle gem. It's pretty dope, man. Look at this. Four seater. It's kinda like a like a like a fancy golf car to go about 25 miles per hour. Street legal, and then they got these over here as well. Two door joints right here. Pretty cool. So, I hope you guys enjoyed those clips. I didn't shoot a whole lot. Like I said, I was trying to network and just meet people and really get the vibe of the event, the vibe of LA. It was amazing. Shout out to Harry for inviting me, putting it together with his team, the Curve War team. Shout out to other, the other content creators. It was an amazing event. Definitely recommend you guys signing up and going next year, right? and finding out what the future is gonna look like from an autonomous gig economy perspective, right? But one last thing I wanted to kind of bring up. Within the gig community, sometimes there's a divide. You have app drivers that wanna work the apps this way, this way, different markets can be very different how you look at the gig economy, how long you've been in it. One thing I really learned as well is just meeting fellow drivers from LA and how welcoming they were for me being an outsider from St. Louis, we do the same job, right? And whether robots are coming or going or however we feel about that or how we feel about the apps right now, whether we're making money or not, how long we've been doing it, maybe we're new, so we're still very bright eyed and just excited. Maybe we've been doing it for a while and you've noticed all the changes and it kind of gets, you know, gets old, right? We're still doing this work and there's money to be made out here for people that are, have a good mentality, can go out there and adapt and go out there with a hustler's mentality. And I met many, many drivers, almost 70 about that we had there at the event that were just there as drivers, some great people. And that that's really what I, you know, I, I took from this event, I took that. I took that we're doing the same job. And while we might have differences in how we do things, we're all drivers. We're all trying to make a buck. And I believe this economy, the gig economy specifically, is still gonna be able to sustain this for many of us as long as we're willing to adapt. If you want more DoorDash content, we do DoorDash content brought to you by Mr. Bet on You every Sunday here on the Rideshare Guy. Check out this video here. Check the description box if you want to sign up for any of the Gig Economy apps. And I'll see you guys next week and maybe next year at Curb Aboard 2024.